Hello, uh, we have released a new version of Excel to Revit. Uh, so right now I will try to show the main features. Uh, Excel to Revit you can find on the separate tab with the name Tools for Revit document. And here you can check the version you have. So you can go into About. And uh, here you can see that right now it's the version 2014.2. So this is the latest version. Uh, the same it goes for Revit 2013. Uh, so now when you go into Create Tables, we added possibility to map text and line styles between a Revit project and Excel file. So first you have to select the Excel file. You have to pick the spreadsheet you want. So it will be new created view so new created view will have the same name uh, as it is in excel spreadsheet but anytime you can change that if, if, if you need to do that and here we added new functionality use text and line styles from revit project so now you can press on next and here you will have uh, you will see all mapping mapping settings so in the top of the dialog, uh, there are line style mapping settings. So the tool, uh, the tool uh, found it two new line styles, thin and medium. And then you can pick uh, the line style from the Revit project. So the tool will look into the current Revit project and will find all uh, line styles. So here you can pick the line style uh, you want or you can say that uh, the tool has to create new line style uh, with the same weight as it is an Excel file. So here let's say we will pick medium line and here in the text uh, style mapping uh, you will find settings for the text styles. Again you will be able to pick the text um, style that comes from the Revit project uh, but also uh, the tool will suggest to you uh, the best uh, line uh, text styles. So you will not be able to pick uh, the text style that is larger than the style from the Excel file. So like here you can pick the one uh, from the Revit project or again you can create your own. So maybe for some of them we will say that um, those ones has to be created like new styles and then actually anytime you can check uh, the text styles uh, with a separate size converter you can check here you can add your own um, text uh, size from excel file so let's say there are 10 points in excel in excel and after convert you will see the values uh, in millimeters and in inches that will be created in Revit project because such values will be added later into um, into text naming as well so after closing this dialog we can just press on draw table and the tool will create such table under the drafting view Also, we can check uh, if the tool created additional uh, text styles and here we can see that um, if actually if the tool will create new uh, text styles then they will uh, the naming will come to, with the, the beginning of the text um, uh, name will be Excel to Revit so here you will know that those text styles are created with um, Excel to Revit tool and uh, those settings, uh, the tool will remember all those settings and next time when we, you will try to update the table, uh, the tool will uh, know that those text styles from Excel file and from the Revit, they are mapped. 